Hello, and thank you for watching my video. This video is actually something I'm creating because I have a problem. Um, this is uh, the Tech Minds video as to how to set up an RTL SDR receiver dongle on SDR Sharp and more specifically how to decode DMR signals using the DSD Plus plugin. Well, long story short, I did everything in this video, um, which includes installing SDR Sharp, installing the VB cable to create a separate input-output virtual type cable, so you can avoid running wires externally outside the computer. You create a virtual wire almost inside your computer with software. So I did that and then there's the Russian website which kind of attaches the DSD plugin directly into the SDR Sharp software. So sorry about the long boring explanation but uh, that kind of recaps the video. So I did that and um, using SDR Sharp, I still had problems uh, getting sound to appear or to come through my speakers uh, fully translated or decoded. Okay, in other, I'll say that again. I didn't get a fully converted transmission from digital back into analog. It didn't work for me. Um, so I'll just show well I'll try to just show what's going on here okay so I'll select the audio output to like I could choose this one or this one they're both direct sound I'll stop the DSD so there's just a there's just a, a DMR signal I found and considering it's on the seven centimeter ham band, I figure if it's transmitting, that's likely somebody talking. So it's not like a, a constantly transmitting DMR signal, maybe where nobody is talking. I'm thinking if it's on the ham band, it's probably somebody who's actually who's actually talking. Okay. Anyway, so rather than have it out to my speakers. I've, I, I found a DMR signal. Rather than have it to my, to my speakers, I'll do exactly like what TechMinds did and I'll use the VB audio input, right? And also when I'm using DSD, I also, just like TechMinds, have the cable input for VB virtual cable also selected. When I go to configure, he's got the decoder options between DMR and auto detect. Okay, I guess I can choose that one. This doesn't really seem to make a difference. And then create a command line. And then the numbering is a little different, but it's exactly the same as TechMinds at 901 in his video. He's showing that he has the uh, VB audio or VB audio virtual cable selected as the audio input device. And he's got speakers selected as the audio output device. Well this is exactly what I have even though they're numbered differently and I'll start using DSD and I'll just show you this. I don't know if you can see this but this is exactly the same audio input device as the VB cable and the output device are my speakers. I've just got some Audacity recording software stuff that changes the menu a little bit, but it's the same as TechMinds. Anyway, I'll play this. It's not decoding. Is that because there's no actual voice transmission speaking on this transmission? Is that why it's not decoding? Because somebody else left another comment on this page, and I'll just read it. Well, actually, okay, it starts here. Someone says, I'm getting, I'm getting no audio out. I look in sound settings and see mic and sound levels jumping. 
I kind of know what that means. I kind of don't. But anyway, somebody else says, yeah, same here. And then this person says, same for me as well. I can see activity and all around, and all the sound mixers are showing up, but no, but I hear nothing. Oh, and then I guess a little more trial and error, just guessing. This person, Kitty Animations, comes back and says, ah, okay, it works now. If you hear silence, then it's simply not decoding. There is no static. It's either full speech or dead silence. So basically what this person is saying, in in my view, I could be getting this wrong, but they're basically saying if there's no voice transmission, if nobody's actually speaking when they're sending this transmission out, then, then you're going to get dead silence, and it's going to be dead quiet. And until somebody, even though they're continually transmitting, but maybe not until they start speaking, is the DSD does the DSD plugin start actually decoding the transmission here? So that seems to be what that comment is saying. So, long story short, um, one of the problems that maybe I'm having is I'm just selecting some DMR signals or transmissions, and I'm just not getting anybody speaking while they're transmitting. But there was an example where I just showed where that was probably a speech transmission. It happened kind of sporadically, but I didn't get any decoding happening. So I don't know what the problem is. I've got the right inputs and outputs selected. I even went into my control panel to try to look at the different sound devices, recording and playback, which kind of means the same thing, input and output, but I'm still not getting any sound. Here's another, but here's something I did notice. Um, say I just go back to just not using the VB cable, but in the audio, I just choose the Realtek speakers. So now I should just be able to hear the DMR sound transmission. So there's the DMR transmission. And now I actually go ahead and start using DSD+. Plus. Sorry, now I go ahead and if I play it again, and I start using the DSD plugin with it being piped through my speakers as it shows up in the audio, then actually DSD seems to actually be working. So now I'm using DSD. I'll have to play it first. So now it looks like it's actually decoding. Now this is coming through my speakers. This isn't how it's supposed to be working via that VB cable install. But anyway, it looks like it's actually working. Now where's the other... But then here I'm getting no... Like sine wave. There I'm getting no sine wave. Sine wave. So there's something funny going on here where the uh, speaker output, when I audio selection, it does seem to be de decoding, but when I go through the DSD interface, where was that? DSD interface, and I select all of the same uh, VB cable, virtual cable inputs that TechMind selected, well, it's just not working. So if anybody has any advice, I don't know, or is this a similar experience you're having? Because it's not working for me. Okay, thanks for watching, and uh, please leave a comment below. I'll try to remake or delete this video later. I'm just looking for some help. Okay, thank you very much. Have a good day.